Good afternoon, good evening or good morning. Welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to a very exciting video. You may recognise this car that I'm standing very close to. That car there. That is TGE's old Lamborghini rear-wheel drive Hurricane. And that is right, I am here at Redline because over the last three to four weeks, maybe even longer, I've been on the hunt for my next daily, the replacement to the Audi A1. And Sam from Seeing Through Glass has already beaten me to buy a brand new daily. He has launched a brand new and very epic banana, a bath. And ever since starting the daily hunt for a new car, I've been quite keen to get behind the wheel of a BMW. Much to the uh, hatred of Sam, um, I actually organised for one of our rental cars in Los Angeles to be a BMW M3 because I haven't had the opportunity to get behind the wheel of one of these cars and test them. When I made that video, the guys down at Redline dropped me a message and said, if you want to come down and drive one of our M cars, then uh, feel free to come up and uh, come and drive one. Which, of course, I happily oblige because I definitely want to get behind the wheel of one of these cars and work out just whether this car could potentially be the replacement. It is right, right at the top end of my budget. I mean, probably even over my budget, but I thought that they are seriously, seriously cool. So, with the stock that they have got behind me... <laughs> they have got an unbelievable range of stock. There you can see that there is a Yas Marina BMW M4. Now, as a lot of you know, and if you don't know, then I will explain the history of the BMW M4 on the internet. <laughs> Sam borrowed one of these cars. Sam from Seen Through Glass, the same guy that beat me to buying a daily. Um, he borrowed one of these cars and absolutely hated it. So that is one reason that makes me want to love the car. <laughs> I mean, it's as simple as that. So here we have the BMW M4. This one is specced in Yaz Marina Blue, which is like a pale baby blue. An absolutely stunning colour in person. This car has still got the uh, chrome grille around there, which uh, I'm not a big fan of. I like it when it's all blacked out, as uh, many of you will know from the Audi A1 that I had. This car's also got the silver BMW performance wheels. And inside, by the looks of it, it is black. And in the M3 that we had in LA, it had carbon inside, which was absolutely stunning. Now, the other cars that are available in the M range that are sort of out of my budget <laughs> is the M4. We've got the M3, which is obviously the four-door version of this car, and the M2, which is essentially the baby version of this car. There is going to be, or rumoured, a BMW M2 CSL with this engine in, which will be an absolute weapon. But from the outside, this car is a beautiful car. I have no idea what Sam is talking about when he says he doesn't like it. Aha, inside, there is no carbon on this one. You can get carbon up there, you can get carbon down there. And to be honest, I think it actually improves the interior quite considerably. We've got really nice black piano. If I sneak in, because it's freezing outside, we've got black piano along the centre console. All sorts of different knobs and buttons and gizmos that I have no idea what they do. All I know is that starts the engine. So I'm going to come and sit in the driver's seat. Alex is going to come and sit in the passenger seat. And we're going to shoot a quick video on a BMW M car. Oh, hello there. <laughs> this is exactly the same as the Lamborghini Aventador. Uh, not the car, <laughs> I'm talking about the, the way that we're shooting this video because my GoPro Hero 5 fell off the back of the spoiler of the Novitec, so it's kind of smashed at the moment. It still works, but I need a new suction cup. So here we go, we have got the BMW M4. It is a three litre twin turbo engine that a lot of people have complained about the sound of this car because obviously the last M3 was the V8, sounded amazing, you could put a really cool exhaust system on, but with an exhaust system, this car sounds unbelievable. You get to hear all of the turbos, and then the M4 GTS has got all of those burbles and stuff, but the M4 GTS is like 100, 160 grand or something stupid like that. Um, right, what do these buttons do? So one thing that I immediately like about driving a car like this is the fact that, again, all of this is quite unfamiliar. I have no idea what goes on on that screen. Um, so I think, oh, like that. Oh, now I'm in neutral, now I'm in drive. How do I take park off? Oh, it's handbrake. Take my foot off the brake and I'm not moving anywhere. Let's get the air. Uh... So if I, oh, now I'm moving, oh, okay. 
I was expecting a little lurch forward from the automatic box. Before we go anywhere, I would just like to grab the camera and show you the, uh, the dash that we've got here. That looks interesting. Efficient sport suspension and sport driving. I have no idea what that means, um, but I am going to look for the start stop button because the last thing I want is start stop when we come to a halt. This is so weird that in drive, you still have to put your foot on the accelerator in, to engage the clutch and make sure that you're moving. Um, so here we go, we're going for a quick drive before the sun goes down. I love the steering wheel, it's super chunky. Compared to my Audi A1, this is a really sort of nice, it fits, it fits right in your grip. First impressions of driving an M4. Now I did drive a BMW M4, I drove an Austin yellow one from Southern Sky when I was doing the what is the perfect mod ball car and the M4 was the car that surprised me the most. The Bentley of course you're expecting it to be luxurious, you're expecting it to be incredibly powerful, the Lamborghini is the Lamborghini, but this car because uh, Sam in recent videos has been quite negative, I want to stop referring to Sam and the BMW M4 even though it is quite a big factor of the fact that I'm driving this car because I just know how much it will annoy him. The steering is incredibly nice and weighted. The, the wheel, like I said, has got a really nice feel to it. It did surprise me the most out of all of the cars uh, that I drove on the mod board thing. So to be able to get some more miles behind the wheel of this car, I'm quite excited. I'm quite excited. The M4 is the two-door version, so you'd have to open the door, move the seats forward to get people in the back. I have no idea what the headroom is like in the rear of that car, so I should probably test that out. Driving position. <laughs> the one thing that has stuck in my head throughout all of this process is the four doors that were available in the Audi S3, the Sportback with the four doors. It was just so easy to use and you get that in the Mercedes A45 as well, the car that I drove with Archies. And as a cruiser, it's quite comfortable. The suspension isn't that firm. We are getting a bit of uh, steam coming up on the old uh, windscreen. So I'll try and get rid of that. Is it that one? I've just done the back one. By the looks of it, <laughs> with those buttons that I just got confused with, it seems like there's quite a lot of modern technology involved with this car. I assume we've got parking sensors. I assume, I, don't, I, I, I really don't know. But I have no idea what any of that TV screen does. The BMW M2, I've kind of discounted from my search because it's 55,000 pounds, which first of all, is a hell of a lot of money for that car. But at the same time, with the rumored M2 CSL coming out, that car is gonna depreciate quite heavily and to be honest, I can't afford to lose <laughs> that much money. And I think it is going to depreciate quite a lot. I'll tell you what's quite nice is that armrest. Sort of set up for that sort of outside lane hanging up someone's ass with no indicators on sort of approach, isn't it? As well. Which is the BMW driver approach. Exactly. Top Gear did stereotype the, uh, the BMW drivers with the Bluetooth headset on and, and all sorts of different bits. And check this out. This is why we've come up to uh, Redline for these sorts of roads and views. This is stunning. I'm actually going to pull over and take a picture. Oh. <laughs> 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 nearly knocked the door open. <laughs> that sounds good. Like everyone was complaining about the V8, but that sounds good. Literally, we came out. I pulled over to take some cool pictures um, because the view's pretty pretty stunning. Um, and then Alex put his foot on the accelerator and it sounded like that. I'm gonna pull onto this road now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm now gonna put it into Sport or Sport Plus? Let's do Sport Plus and see what the power's like. Hopefully I don't crash it because I don't own this car. There's famous last words there. Maybe I'll put it in Sport. No, I'll leave it in Sport Plus. Right, here we go. Oh uh, no, I'm gonna go up. Uh, no, I'm gonna go after this car. <laughs> oh, I'm scared now. I'm gonna have it manual too. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Traction braking at 50 miles an hour. Oh. 
squeezing the throttle. Oh, it's got some grunt to it. <laughs> I do not want to go anymore back into comfort mode and traction control on. <gasps> that was hairy. <laughs> I've heard these cars are hairy, but oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. The BMW M4 and the M3, the starting price is around 55, 60,000 pounds. Once you put options on, they start going for silly money, like 68, 70,000 pounds. But you can you can pick up, I think this car's around 46 to 47,000 pounds. So the BMW M cars, they do depreciate. Um, and I suppose if you get an early one, maybe that has done the majority of the depreciation already. That's in comfort mode with traction on. <laughs> Why is this, did I take it out of? Nope, I'm in neutral now. Nope, okay. Stay in auto. I don't know whether that's a, a common trait of the BMW M4, whether I'm just driving this car wrong, but it likes to go back into manual. So let's see. that over and I suppose if that's my driving position <laughs> I'd literally if I if I didn't have a cap I would have headbutted the glass there. Right. Okay. There's not there's not bad I'd have to I'd have to sit like this to get the headroom because the M4 roof is slanted. So I'd have to, I'd probably sit like this. But there's a lot of legroom space. It's not too bad. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Maybe I just need to lose weight. Yeah, I'd definitely like to thank Redline for, uh, for letting me drive this car. Because I think, I think we're now getting somewhere on the daily hunt. I think we are, and uh, I'm excited. Sam, if you're watching this, your hatred for this car is making me want it. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I, I really, really like this car. I really like this car. I think this is the first like, proper time that I've done an actual test drive, driven the car on YouTube and like sort of got excited. Hmm. Right, enough of me thinking on camera. I'm gonna think off camera now. Comment below on whether you think this, the BMW M3 or M4, is a good replacement to the Audi A1. I think it's a good idea. So give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and check out the link for all of the stock that Redline have, including Tom's rear wheel drive Hurricane that is still here. Uh, but this is, yeah, this is where Tom picked up his F12. I met the guys down here when he picked up the F12. Very cool guys, very accommodating and very welcoming. I mean, I have just got a train three hours up here to test drive a BMW M4 and make a video, but I think it's worth it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers guys.